Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Praise God. According to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, and I believe it, the Bible says that Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being, and how did he do it? He redeemed us by being made a curse himself. He became the curse. He took upon himself the attributes of the curse. He received it on our behalf. In an exchange, it says, For Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. He made a curse. For it's written, Cursed is everyone that hangs upon a tree. So he set the parameters from the foundations of the earth about the curse and how it could be redeemed. And then he stepped in and took your place, took my place, redeeming us, buying us back from the curse of the law. Now, what does that mean in real terms? It means that sentence has been passed upon him. He's been judged. If he's judged and yes, you're experiencing the effects of judgment for that is consequent upon the curse, that is illegal. If judgment has been placed upon him on your behalf, it is illegal for you to still be judged or for an executor to come and put weight upon you in judgment. Note that that judgment is not coming from God. That's, that, that effect that you're experiencing is not coming from God because God passed judgment on Jesus for you. You've been redeemed. You've been bought back. You've been paid for. Somebody else took your stead to take the punishment for your misdemeanors. So what do you do? You stand against the brigand who is trying to judge you a second time after judgment has been passed and somebody has served your sentence. What does that mean? It means you resist the devil. Scripture says resist, submit yourself to God. What, how do you submit to God? You submit yourself to what God has said. You find out what he has said and agree with it. Believe it and then resist the devil. How do you resist the devil? You say no to what he's doing. This is what God has done. This is what God has said. I refuse to accept it. I command you in the name of Jesus to stop. Stop in your tracks right now. It says, if you do that, the Bible says, he will flee. And the word flee there means run as in terror. He will take off from you as in terror. But the important thing is that you resist. If, they, if somebody comes to get you off somewhere, get you off a property, and they say you're resisting, what, is it, what does it mean? It means that, in essence, if a third party is watching you, he says that you refuse to go. You refuse to cooperate with that one trying to get you off that property. You just refuse to cooperate. Refuse. Stand your ground. Say, no, I will not. Don't, don't help him execute the eviction. Say, no. Say, no. Stand your ground. And God will back you. God will see to it that that devil flees. That is, it is guaranteed. Think about it. God bless you. Hallelujah.